Hi, my name is Tanya Landis, and my husband Scott Landis and I, we own Marriage Architects. And today I am sure I'm going to ruffle a few feathers with this video, but really I think it's important to talk about because a lot of people don't talk about it. And in order to have change, in order to have the marriage that you want that's thriving and to get to that next level, sometimes you got to go through the harder stuff and the hard questions. So the question I have for you today is your marriage worth it? And what does that mean? Is it worth putting the time and effort into? Is it worth investing money into? A lot of people, you know, you can see where their priorities are by where they invest their time and their money. Um, a lot of people invest in cars, in homes, in, you know, going out to eat, in movies, entertainment, motorcycles. And I am not denying that that stuff is awesome because we invest in that too. We invest our time and money. But when our marriage was at a point where we were considering, you know, ending it, um, I really had to take a hard look and say, am I investing into my marriage? Is my marriage worth it? And we, my husband and I both decided yes. And that meant we had to invest time and money. We invested our time. We had to go the extra mile. We still invest time in our marriage. We have three children that are keep us crazy busy. And we have three businesses. I don't know what it is about that, but we are busy and we love what we do. But we realize that when we take the you know attention off each other, we're not investing our time. And so we needed to invest our time into things to help our marriage. And that doesn't mean going to the movies or going out to eat. Like those are awesome date nights, right? But really it was investing in learning new skills for you know, to take into our marriage um, because the skills that we had and what we were investing in what we were doing wasn't, you know, it wasn't meeting the need at the time. So we did invest money and time. We, you know, went and we got marriage coaches, you guys, that's what we are. And we got marriage coaches and we also invested in different, um, different things to do together. Um, because our, not always do our hobbies line up and we had to invest in a babysitter for our children. Um, we did different things that would help our marriage. And we see this with clients. We've been doing this for 10 years and those that invest their time and money, um, you know, you can see where their priority is. And I'm not saying that's all you have to, you know, that makes the big deal and you have to have a ton of money to make your marriage work. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is look at where you're investing your time and your money and look at, you know, your marriage. Is your marriage worth it? Do you, you need to hire a marriage coach? Do you need to, you know, go and um, take a course, what, whatever it is, decide, decide where you're at and look at if you're giving your marriage the attention and you have to ask yourself the question, is your marriage worth it? Now I do fitness and health for a living and I always see people, they're like, is my health worth it? And they, you know, they have to show that they do have to invest in themselves by investing their time to do a workout program and a nutrition program. And they have to invest money to pay for that. It's the same with your marriage and a lot of times the people will be like oh well you know with the marriage stuff they're like oh i just we don't have the time we're so busy like the kids keep us busy guys life is busy if you wait it's like waiting for the perfect time to have a baby there's never a perfect time to have the baby like the baby comes and you're like okay <laughs> i thought it was the perfect time but it's not you guys the perfect time is now Invest in your marriage. It's one of the most important relationships you'll have. Um, if you think about it, your kids are with you, you know, 18 years. And then, of course, you're always a parent. But the best gift you can give them is that, you know, showing them what a good marriage and a stable relationship is. And a marriage where mom and dad um, invest in each other. My kids know that we invest in our marriage they know we have date night they know we do courses they know we you know do different trainings and things like that and they've grown up seeing that and i think it's important for kids to see that because otherwise when they grow up they're going to have an unrealistic they're going to have a idea not unrealistic they're going to probably have a realistic idea of what marriage is based on the example they had from their parents and i know 
you know, some of you come from divorced families, some of you come from where you were raised in a single parent household, or you had a great childhood, great parents, great marriage, like we all come from different walks of life. But what I, you know, what I want for my kids is to see a mom, you know, mom and dad are working hard, this marriage thing, it is not easy. It's not, you know, a cakewalk all the time, like we have to put in time and effort. And mom and dad have to spend, you know, time with each other. The other night, um, our seven year old, I swear, like every time we get in a conversation, she comes knocking and bouncing in the room. And she's like, I want your attention. And that's great. But we had to let her know like, hey, this is mom and dad time right now. Mom and dad are having a conversation. You know, give us some, you know, you've had, you know, our time earlier. And we had to explain that to her. And she was okay with that. And of course, you know, kids want what they want and they demand attention. But she also just had, you know, we had to let her know that, hey, this is mom and dad time right now. And she's like, okay. And then she, you know, I think went and bugged her brother. But you guys look at what your marriage is, where you want it to be and decide if it's worth it. Do you want it? You know, are you investing in it? Are you investing the time? Going to the movies is super great, but you're not getting that connection with your significant other. I, we love the movies. We do. But we realized for there was a time in our relationship where we were going to see all these movies, but we actually weren't like talking to each other. We were just sitting by each other in the movie theater. And that wasn't increasing our intimacy and our connection. So take the time. And yet, sometimes it's doing that hard stuff and having those hard conversations. We still have really hard conversations in our marriage because that's how you grow. That's how you connect. And that's how you increase intimacy. So I encourage you this weekend, yes, this weekend, it's Friday, to spend some time in your marriage, truly connecting, you know, having a a conversation have a conversation about your dreams and your you know your aspirations with your spouse like where do you guys want to be in five to ten years like you know take note of that another thing you can do is if you're part of our marriage mindset group or if you're not yet part of it you're welcome to pop in just um, message us on the page and we'll add you but you can go in there and do the three day we did a little three day training and you can use that. It doesn't take very long. Each um, video plus the homework, the videos are like 10 minutes. And then with the homework, it's maybe 30 minutes each. That's 90 minutes that you would invest into your marriage. <laughs> Do you have 90 minutes to, of time to invest in your marriage? If you don't, then you have to ask yourself if your marriage is worth it because where you invest your time and your money, it shows where your priorities are and what's important. So I hope that was helpful for you today. I know I probably ruffled a few feathers, but I know there are times I had to have my feathers ruffled to get where I wanted to be. And you know, we really at Marriage Architects want you to have that marriage you desire and that you dream about and that you deserve, but you can't get there by not investing in it. You have to be investing some time and give it intention and you know focus so i'll um actually put a link to the group the marriage mindset group in the comment section of this video and feel free to pop in there it's a free group free content um so you don't even have to invest your money just your time and the whole three days will take you total of 90 minutes all right bye guys